and welcome to Bronco Athletics TV. I'm Ariel Marsh alongside Christopher Curtis. And let's get this show on the road. Senior day is Sunday at Scalinas Field for an 11 a.m. ceremony as Bronco Athletics will honor Jordan Whitman, Nick Lachlan, Kevin Bosson, Ryan Dunn, Eric Rivacalva, and Donald Walter before their last game in a Bronco uniform. We decided to put these seniors against each other for the ultimate athletic test to reveal which Bronco would come out on top. Field reporter Sarah Seminero has more. With the six seniors having to compete in three different events, we hear a word from a couple of our student athletes in which events they will dominate. Uh, probably the 100 meter dash, I'm way faster than all these pitchers, and Whitman's just full of himself. He thinks he's a freak athlete. He's I think, good. honestly, I'm going to dominate at everything. Yeah. I am one of the most premier athletes at Cal Poly Pomona, I think. I could probably be a starter in all sports that are here. After the first event, racing the 100 meter dash, it's a close call, but Kevin Bosson comes out on top, winning by an arm's length. In the second event, Eric Ruvacaba walks away with the win while others get disqualified, although they are still on top of the judges list with major style points. <laughs> time, 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 time! This is definitely DQ. To conclude all events, Ryan Dunn records the best time for the shooting competition. Although Dunn claims he wins the whole event, we also hear some words from our real winner. Uh, my strategy all along was just sandbagging. I mean, can you guys get a view of the loser circle over there? No, back to the winner circle. Uh, I knew I was going to sandbag and come out on top, just like I predicted. And that's exactly what happened. I knew it. See, so yeah, I'm actually not that excited because I knew I was going to win, you know? So what does this mean to beating out your fellow It's really not that hard. I knew it was going to happen from the get-go. I mean, we got a bunch of non-athletes out here, and all you need is just a mediocre athlete, and that's not what I am. I excel at everything. With Jordan Whitman finishing in first place with the most points in all events, this concludes our senior baseball athletic trial. All right, I guess. Okay, yeah. all right, let's go. Let's get this moving, boys. Right. Cal Poly Pomona track and field begins day one of competition Thursday at the CCAA Championships in Turlock, where they are aiming to capture a conference title. Before they hit the road, field reporter Shanae Graves caught up with veteran throwers to get some insight into their events. As the throwers on the track and field team prepare for the CCA championship this weekend, Shane Sione, ranked number 10 on the Broncos all-time shot put list, breaks down the keys to his event. Technique, number one, most important thing is your technique. Number two is speed. And number three is your timing, your rhythm. That's what's going to actually, you know, get the momentum going in the right time, hit your position so you can blast it and throw as far as you can. By knowing and using these three techniques, there are some myths that Andrew Durham would like to bust. People think it's all in the arm and you just hit all, you know, you just bench press and you'll throw far. But that's also not true. It's actually all legs. Um, you know, squat, squat, squat. I mean, that's how you do it. So. By practicing these three methods, Sione and Durham would like to capitalize on their chances on reaching the NCAA track and field championship. Some of the other teams in the conference may be kind of already counting us out. They think we're we're good, but we're not great, and that's definitely a different story, so we're going to show them what's up. As the men are practicing their shot put, the women are working on their discus throw and are giving us helpful tips if we ever decide to step on the field. The biggest mistake that most people make in discus is they start throwing it with their arm, when actually it's a whole body movement. You want to get your hip into the sector, leaving the discus. And there are four main positions. The first one is called a stand where uh, you're just at the front of the ring, and it's just a simple wind and release. Stay tuned as our veteran throwers compete this week against the rest of the CCAA. With baseball's final series and senior day, along with track and field competing for a conference title, it is a big week in Bronco Athletics. Thanks for tuning in for another edition of Bronco Athletics TV. Check in next week for more action from the Bronco Nation. Also, find us and the rest of the BA TV stars at the Evening of Excellence Banquet Monday night, and we'll be reviewing the best and worst dressed. Stay classy, Pomona.